Hi everybody, Nathan here from Acus Acupuncture and Physiotherapy. I thought I'd do a short clip about mucus clearance devices once again. A sequel, if you will, based on the feedback I got from you guys. You're quite interested. And you might remember that last time around we had a look at the flutter, the flutter pipe or the pep pipe, which produces that positive expiratory pressure. There are other ways of um, also producing the very same effect. Um, one of them being a, the acapella. Now, the acapella is a very good thing for children that just can't quite get the technique right and hence aren't doing uh, the, the right practices at home or on their own. Uh, so the acapella, I have one here, and the great thing about the acapella is that you can get that positive expiratory pressure uh, without actually setting yourself very upright. You can do it lying down, you can do it on any single angle uh, that you wish to be in at the time, on the lounge, watching telly, whatever. So the idea with this, once again, is blowing into this device and it will produce that rhythmic oscillation back down into your airways in order to bring the rubbish up and out. Have a look and a listen. And that's certainly rattling that bronchial tree. I can feel that deep in my chest. Uh, now these are a great thing uh, for kids with CF or just chronic mucus production. Hence they can cough it up and out and get some relief. Um, but let me tell you there's also one other way this can be produced uh, more as a DIY type scenario, a lot cheaper, a lot easier and people call it bubble pep. So what we're doing here, I have a set up with me right here now of course, is getting yourself a flask uh, with about a third full of water and a large caliber straw. Um, you can use probably something only as small as what you might find in a pearl tea cup because they're quite large. But this one's even better. Okay, a nice large calibre tube going into a, um, a flask of water there. And when I blow in through this tube, the bubble that, cr that is created through the water again sends that oscillation uh, back down to my uh, bronchial tree. Let's have a look. Don't blow too hard if there's if the water's a bit too high because it'll come up at you again. And uh, I've had uh, yeah, kids with water down their chest and all that sort of thing. So let's have a look here now. It has a similar effect. Um, so look, this is a great, great way to start at least to see if it's gonna be effective for you or your clients. Um, bubble pep. In fact, um, some therapists will put a little bit of um, well, bubbling formula, like a bubble bath type stuff, in here. Um, so the bubbles come up and out and the kids have a wild, old, um, a wild time. And, uh, and also get that benefit, of course. So um, give that some thought. If it's good for you or your clients, wonderful. Set them up with the bubble pep. Or look at the acapella scenario. Or the pep pipe that we had a look at last time around. Uh, all the best. This is Nathan at Acus Acupuncture and Physiotherapy. Check us out at acus.com.au.